welcome to today's baby time. And today we're going to have stories about everything slithery and slimy. But first, I'd like to show you this. Miss Kate, what is that? That looks like a big ball. Actually, it's a giant egg. And this is to show us how some Slytherins and slimy things come into this world. So really, in real life, this would be really, really small, but right now it's giant, so you can see it. And it's an egg. And this egg is holding a surprise. Outside of the egg will not come a bird, will not come a snake, will not come a dinosaur. It's actually a tadpole. Check out my tadpole. And again, this is a giant tadpole. Tadpoles are so little. But this is to show you what a tadpole looks like. So out of the egg pops a tadpole. And then you're never going to believe what happens to this tadpole. It starts to grow legs on all four sides and starts to lose its tail. And even though it still loves to swim, it's able to crawl out of the water as it turns into, what do you think? Oh my goodness, a frog. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. A frog. Frogs come from teeny tiny eggs and then hatch and become tadpoles and then grow into frogs. Complete, a completely different animal, it seems like. And they can live out of the water, but they do still need some water. And that's why their, their skin is very slick and slimy because of all that water. They're what we call amphibians. So before we have our frog story, we need to do some singing. So first let's do, hi, hello, and how are you? And I'm actually gonna bring my frog back for this. Are you ready everyone for hi, hello, and how are you? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello again. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello, hello. Are you ready to do some stretching? Let's do some stretching. Okay. And this is called, Can You Move With Me? If you're able to stand up, please do. And if not, you can do it in your seat. And it goes like this. Can you wiggle like a worm? Can you squiggle? Can you squirm? Can you flutter? Can you fly like a gentle butterfly? Can you crawl around the ground like a beetle that is round? Can you move with me? Can you flip? Can you flop? Can you give a little hop? Can you slither like a snake? Can you give a little shake? Can you dance like a bee who's buzzing around a tree? Can you move with me? Let's try it one more time. You ready? Let's take a deep breath. <gasps> Can you wiggle like a worm? Can you squiggle? Can you squirm? Can you flutter? Can you fly like a gentle butterfly? Can you crawl around the ground like a beetle who was round? Can you move with me? Can you flip? Can you flop? Can you give a little hop? Can you slither like a snake? Can you give a little shake? Can you dance like a bee who's buzzing around a tree? Can you move with me? Me, you can. Excellent job, everybody. And now we're going to have a story, not quite about a frog, it's actually about a toad. And a toad's very similar to frogs, a little smaller. Here we go. And this story is called Toad on the Road. Toad on the Road. Toad on the road. Oh no, oh no, there's a toad on the road. Who's that coming down the road? Oh yikes, oh yikes, it's a bear on a bike. Everyone shout, look out, look out. Skid screech, bam. Hey little bird, get out of the way. You could get hurt, that's no place to play. Vamoose, skedaddle without delay. What do you think your mama would say? Uh-oh, uh -oh, here he goes again. Toad on the road, toad on the road. Oh no, oh no, there's a toad on the road. 
who's that coming down the road? My stars, my stars, it's a crack in a car. Everyone shout, look out, look out. Skid screech, bam. Hey, little toad, get out of the way. You could get hurt. That's no place to play. The moose skedaddle with out delay. What do you think your mama would say? Uh-oh, toad on the road. Toad on the road. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a toad on the road. Who's that coming down the road? Oh, man. Oh, man. It's a vole in a van. Everyone shout, look out, look out. Skid screech, bam. Hey, little toad, get out of the way. You could get hurt. That's no place to play. The moose skedaddle without delay. What do you think your mama would say? Toad on the road. Toad on the road. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a toad on the road. Who's that coming down the road? Good luck. Good luck. It's a toad in a truck. And what does she say? Hey, little love, get out of the way. You could get hurt. That's no place to play. For moose, skedaddle without delay. And that is what your mama would say. The end. Yay! And now we're going to have some rhymes about frogs. We're going to stay on the frog theme. And we're going to start here with some green and speckled frogs. Let's count these guys. One, two, three, four, five. I have five of them. So can we put up one, two, three, four, five fingers? Let's see, five fingers, and these are our green and speckled frogs, and they're going to sit on the speckled log, and here we go. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are one, two, three, four, four green speckled frogs. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are one, two, three, three green speckled frogs. Here we go. Three. <gasps> three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are one, Two green speckled frogs. Here we go with two. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Okay, only one. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Boo-hoo! But don't worry, they just swam away. They'll be fine. Okay, and now it's time for the little green frog. And we're going to pretend to be frogs. You ready? It goes like this. Conk, conk, went the little green frog one day. Conk, conk, went the little green frog Conk, conk, went the little green frog one day, and his eyes went blink, blink, blink. Okay, and now his legs are going to go hop, hop, hop. You ready? Clunk, clunk, went the little green frog one day. Clunk, clunk, went the little green frog. Clunk, clunk, went the little green frog one day, and his legs went hop, hop, hop. Okay, and his knees are going to go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Conk, conk, went the little green frog one day. Conk, conk, went the little green frog. Conk, conk, went the little green frog one day. And his knees went wiggle, wiggle, wiggle the end. Good job. 
Well done. And I think we are going to move to this animal. Hello. Yeah, do you know who this is? Yeah, this is a turtle and they're pretty cool because here are turtles. I know they're slow, but can you imagine that anytime you were tired and wanted a nap, you could just pop into your shell and take a nap. Isn't that great? Turtles really have it made. And then when they want to come out again, hello, and they can continue on their way. Being a turtle's pretty cool. All right, so now I have a turtle story for you, and it's called Turtle Splash. Turtle Splash. Ten timid turtles lounging in a line. <gasps> Who's this? Yup. Startled by a bullfrog. Now there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Nine napping turtles. The day is growing late. Ah. Uh, rabbit rushes in the leaves. Now there are eight. Eight lazy turtles resting without care. A, you know who that is? Yeah, it's a squirrel. A squirrel scampers by the log. Seven are still there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sleepy turtles hear the crunch of sticks. Who's this? Yeah, the deer. Deer appear besides the shore. And now there are one, two, Six, six sunning turtles watching ducklings dive. The mother mallard quacks at them, quack, quack, quack. And now there are five, five idle turtles lolling by the shore. Pollywogs swirl by their logs, and pollywogs are like those tadpoles. Now there are. Four, four drowsy turtles, quiet as can be. A butterfly flutters by. And now there are one, two, three, three carefree turtles beneath the sky so blue. A chickadee chirps in a tree. And now there are two, two silent turtles watch the setting sun. Here, mosquitoes buzz around their heads. Now there's only one, one lonely turtle in the fading light. Splash! Ten tired turtles settle for the night. Good night, turtles. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sleep tight. The end. And now it's time for some turtle rhymes. So let's take our fists like this and take a thumb, and that's going to be our turtle. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. This is my turtle. He lives in his shell. He likes his home very well. He pokes his head out when he wants to eat and pulls it back in when he wants to sleep. <sniffs> All right, let's try it again. You ready? Hello, get make your turtles. This is my turtle. He lives in his shell. He likes his home very well. He pokes his head out when he wants to eat and pulls it back in when he wants to sleep. <sniffs> Good night, turtle. All right. Now, this is called I Had a Little Turtle. You ready? I had a little turtle. He lived in a box. He swam in the water and he climbed on the rocks. He snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a minnow and he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. Let's try that one more time. I love this one. Okay, here we go. I have a little turtle. He lived in a box. He swam in the water and he crawled on the rocks. He snapped 
at the mosquito. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a minnow and he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. The end. Ta -da! And now we're going to have a story that actually features this guy. But wait a minute, he's not slithery and slimy. Well, I think there's going to be a surprise guest. Guess who it's gonna be? The snake. Yep, the snake is coming in our next story. So let me put him back down. And this is called Mouse Count. One fine day, some mice played in the meadow. They were careful to watch out for snakes. But when the mice got sleepy, they forgot about snakes and they all took naps. <laughs> While they slept, a hungry snake went looking for dinner. On his way, he found a nice big jar. I will fill this jar with dinner, he said. It wasn't long before he found one, two, three, three mice, little, warm, and tasty, fast asleep. First I'll count them, then I will eat them up, said the snake. Mouse count. One, two, three. He dropped them into a jar, but he was very hungry. Three mice were not enough. Soon he found one, two, three, four, four more mice, little, warm, and tasty, fast asleep. And he counted them. Four, five, six, seven. But the snake was very, very hungry and seven mice were not enough. At last he found three more mice, little, warm, and tasty, fast asleep. And he counted them. Eight, nine, ten. Ten mice are enough. Now I'm going to eat you up, little, warm, and tasty, said the snake. Wait, said one of the mice. The jar isn't full yet, and look at the big mouse over there. The snake was very greedy. He hurried off to get the big mouse. And while he was gone, the mice racked the jar one way and another way until it went over. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The little mice uncounted themselves and ran for home. The snake reached the big mouse, but it was only a cold, hard rock. And when he came back, the jar was empty. Mouse count. The end. So, in honor of our mice and mouse count, why don't we do some mouse rhymes? And my first one features a clock and a mouse running up the clock. Can you think of a rhyme with a mouse running up the clock? Sure, hickory dickory dock. So let's make a nice clock. You ready? Here we go. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, boom. The mouse ran down, hickory dickory dock. Now it's gonna be two, hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two, one, two. The mouse said, boo. Hickory dickory dock. Now we're gonna go three. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck three, one. Three. The mouse said, Wee! Hickory dickory dock. Now we're going to go four. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck four. One, two, three, four. The mouse said, No more. Hickory dickory dock. The end. Good job. And now it's time for three blind mice. And I think I'll just put my little mouse puppet on for this. You ready? Three blind mice, three blind mice. See how they run, see how they run. 
They all ran after the farmer's wife who jumped on the table and screamed for her life. Ah! Have you ever seen such a sight in your life as three blind mice? One, two, three. Let's try it one more time. You ready? Three blind mice. Three blind mice. Make them run. See how they run. See how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife who jumped on the table and screamed for her life. Ah! Have you ever seen such a sight in your life as three blind mice? The end. And honestly, I think if I saw three blind mice, I think I would scream for my life too. So I get it. All right, guys. And now it is time to do our lapsit rhyme. So if you're a little baby, you can sit on your grown-up's lap. If you're a toddler, you can kind of do this on your own or get a stuffed animal friend and you can bounce them. Um, let me see back a little bit more. The first one we're going to do is called Hanky Panky. And I'm going to use my little teddy bear. My teddy bear is going to face me and we're going to do some gentle bouncing like this. And this goes like this. Down on the banks of the Hanky Panky where the bullfrogs jump. From bank to banky with the hip, hop, hip, hop. Jump from a lily pad and plop. Go backwards. And by the way, grown-ups, if you're looking for any of the words or motions of anything we're doing today, including the books that we're reading, go on the website and look for the show notes. Okay, hanky-panky one more time. Hanky-panky take two. Down on the banks of the hanky panky where the bullfrogs jump from bank to banky with the hip, hop, hip, hop. Jump from a lily pad and curl, plop. Okay, our next one is called hip, hip, hippity hop. Um, and for this one, let's all stand up. And even if you're have a tiny baby, you can hop your baby around because we're gonna do some hopping like frogs all around the room. Okay, you ready? So you can be a frog and do some hopping. Hip, hip, hippity hop, hippity, hippity hop. We'll hop around the room today until I holler, stop! Everybody stop. Okay, let's try it again, you ready? Hip, hip, hippity hop, hippity, hippity hop. We'll hop around the room today until I holler, stop! Stop, frogs. Excellent. Good job. And now, how about a puppet show? For our puppet show, we're going to feature the animal we started with. Do you remember who we started with? And that's our friend, the frog. And this is called the wide mouth frog. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies. A wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog who was jumping around the jungle one day looking for some lunch. And he looked around and he looked around and he looked around until he met a mouse. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies. What do you eat, mouse? Do you know what mice eat? I eat beautiful, delicious yellow cheese, said the mouse. Oh, very interesting, said the frog. And well, I'll see you later. And off he went and he was looking around. And he was looking around, and he was looking around, and he said, I'm a wide mouth frog, and I eat flies. A wide mouth frog, and I eat flies. And before long, he ran into a bird. I wonder what that bird eats. Hey, Mr. Bird, I'm a wide mouth frog, and I eat flies. What do you eat? And the bird, what birds eat? I eat lovely, delicious, wiggly worms, said the bird. Oh, said the wide mouth frog. Thank you. Bye. And the wide mouth frog kept going through the forest, looking around, looking around, and looking around, and jumping and saying, I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies. A wide mouth frog and I eat flies. And he kept leaping and jumping and looking for flies when. He came to a big body of water, and there in the water was, uh-oh, an alligator. 
I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies. A wide mouth frog and I eat flies. What do you eat, alligator? I eat beautiful, delicious, green, wide mouth frog, said the alligator, making his jaws very wide. Ooh, said the frog, making his mouth very small. You don't see many of them around, do you? And he leapt into the pond with a splash. And that, my friends, is the story of the wide mouth frog. And now we're going to end with the song, and it's called Old MacDonald Had a Reptile Farm. And we're going to start with our friend, the alligator. Now, there will be a frog in here, and I know I said the frogs are really amphibians, but since it's Slytherin and, and slimy today, we're going to let him in our reptile farm. But the other animals are reptiles, and just so you know, frogs really aren't. But we're going to keep them in there just to, for, the, for the theme today and because we love frogs. Okay. Old MacDonald had a reptile farm. E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had an alligator, E-I-E-I-O, with a snap, snap here and a snap, snap there, here a snap, there a snap, everywhere a snap, snap, old MacDonald had a reptile farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm there was a snake, E-I-E-I-O, make a snake with your arm, with a here and a s there, here a s there, a s everywhere a s. Old MacDonald had a reptile farm, e i e i o. And on his farm there was a frog, e i e i o. With a ribbit, ribbit here and a ribbit, ribbit there. Jump here, ribbit there, a ribbit everywhere, a ribbit, ribbit. Old MacDonald had a reptile farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm there was a turtle, E-I-E-I-O. Now we're going to hide with the hide, hide here and a hide, hide there. Here a hide, there a hide everywhere, a hide, hide, old MacDonald. Donald had a reptile farm, E-I-E-I-O, one more friend, and on that farm there was a lizard, E-I-E-I-O, now let's catch bugs with a here and a there, here, there, everywhere, old McDonald had a reptile farm, E-I-E-I-O, good job. And now it's time for our ABCs and one, two, threes. Are you ready? Let's count to three. One, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Excellent. Now zero to 20. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Now I know my ABCs and I count from 0 to 20. Good job. And now it's time for goodbye, friends. You ready? Let's do another countdown for, to three. One, two, three. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends, it's time to say goodbye again. Goodbye, friends, goodbye, friends, goodbye, friends, it's time to say goodbye, 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 friends. Okay, everyone, thank you for joining me today, and I'll see everyone next week for some more wild and woolly animal tales. Bye. Bye.